Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Now guys, today we're going to be bubble wrapping the polytunnel from um, top to bottom. As you can see, we've got um, three very large uh, bubble wrap rolls here. Um, and it's the big large bubble wrap with the big um, big bubbles in so we're going to be completely insulating the polytunnel for the for the winter and we've also got another cover also um, for the polytunnel to go over the cover we've already got so we've got two covers now I know that might sound balmy but we're going to completely totally make sure this polytunnel is completely insulated um, obviously it's going to keep down the heating costs dramatically and um it's going to be obviously fun and games here for um, Hans and uh, Sean and me, hopefully, <laughs> having a go at bubble wrapping uh, the polytunnel. And um, let's get going then. Thankfully, it's an absolutely wonderful, beautiful, calm, sunny day um, out there. So perfect weather for doing this. And uh, let's get going then, guys. Now, that's just putting the um, second cover of the polytunnel back on. Now, you don't obviously have to put two layers of um, polytunnel cover on. The reason why we're doing this is um, not only because it is going to give a bit of extra protection, but the polytunnel cover that we originally had was a little bit too short for the cover. As you can see here, it doesn't quite fit around here where it should completely fit the frame. So we contacted the company, Feel Good UK, and they very, very kindly sent us a replacement cover. So they said, keep the cover you've got, obviously. So we thought we'd put the spare cover they've kindly sent us over the original cover because it's gonna act as double insulation, a bit like, um, a bit like double glazing if you think about it so that's going to be a bit of a bonus and we're not quite sure how this cover's going to fit so we're going to go into see and um guys if you're not familiar with the hans and sean's youtube channels please do subscribe to them both links are up above um, Hans has a YouTube channel called Family of Cactusy and Other Beauties where he's got lots of cacti videos on there and also gardening tips so please do go over to subscribe links up above and down below and Sean has a fantastic photography channel called Rambles with my camera links up above and also below to that so do go over and sub subscribe and support these amazing guys because they're doing an incredible job there so there you go that's the, the second polytunnel cover on and again thanks again to feel good uk for supplying us a replacement cover um we're gonna see see how it goes there you go guys um the guys have put the cover on the second uh, polytunnel cover and the good news is it fits really well i'll just show you that's covering right around the edges there because before it didn't quite so one behind it it sort of didn't quite fit the cover but this fits so that's going to be great that's going to make it more more airtight and i'll just show you what it looks like inside <laughs> now obviously it's reduced <laughs> it's hansy it's reduced in the light slightly but only slightly as i say they're only going to be overwintering in here and um, the heat is more important and obviously saving on the the cost of the heating and um, as you can see, still going to get plenty of sun when, when the sun comes out. <laughs> and we've moved, obviously, Hans has moved all of the um, hanging baskets. The side, it looks so much better because now we're not going to knock our heads every time we walk in here. <laughs> so now, um, <laughs> Hans doing his mad walk. <laughs> so, um, so far, so good. And we have bought in some of the very, the ones like the Pyloceriuses that we did have at the back. We've left mainly the Trichoceriuses and some of the other ones. The reason being is we're not going to be heating the polytunnel to a tropical level. Pylocereus need a minimum of about 10 Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit, so they have to come in the house. Um, we're going to be probably keeping this polytunnel at around 4 degrees Celsius to between 5 because obviously it's not going to be, it's going to cost a fortune to have it tropical. And the, the trick is we want to keep them cool and uh, dry so they overwinter. And um, see, that's what we've got left here. <laughs> actually, by the way, guys, a bit of an update on the storm. We actually found at the back that this um, lovely um, golden big tall guy, we think it's possibly possibly a cluster cactus, possibly, we're not quite sure. Um, but it actually fell over and snapped, as you can see. Luckily, um, it's going to be repairable, we believe. So that was the only one we noticed. A bit of damage where it blew over, where the wind got in from the storm. Um, but as I say, it's going to... Um, repair itself this one had the same happen to us a few years ago it fell over and actually snapped as you can see there and actually just stood it up and it actually rejoined itself <laughs> so hopefully we'll do the same with this if not we can treat it as a cutting but as i say we'll see how it goes so that's the um the second second cover up and now we're going to start doing the bubble wrapping 
Now the guys are measuring the uh, the polytunnel to get the uh, bubble wrap um, inside. So um, why would I do that? These two guys, they're doing an amazing job of bubble wrapping this. Um, as you can see, that's all inside. It's going to be a lot of, lot of bubble wrap and uh, it's going to be great. So doing the measurements first so they know exactly how much to cut and then we're going to, oh going to show you how they're, they're doing it. <laughs> now the guys are making a start now by um, putting it into the the central post in the middle and feeding it through and um, a bit undecisive which way to put the bubbles whether the bubbles should face towards the um, the polytunnel cover or outwards I don't think it really matters um, but um, as you can see we are uh, made a start on it anyway Now guys, we're just putting uh, the bubble wrap onto the second uh, second uh, row here, as you can see, um, all feeding it through. So um, Hansi, how's it going? It's going well. I thought it was much more work with it, much more problems with it, much more uh, with it. But uh, it's rolling, it's rolling like these bubble wrap rolls. <laughs> <laughs> The most work is uh, with moving plants. It is, we're having to move yeah. the plants out of the way to put the bubble wrap uh, down the back, obviously. And I don't know how much plants we have moved. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you can tell the difference with the extra cover and the bubble wrap already. The heating here, it's going to be absolute godsend for us with the heating. Right guys, we're half done. Half the polytunnel is covered. As you can see, we've got all the bubble wrap up and Hansi has worked like an absolute little, big or big troop, I should say. He's amazing. Um, Sean had to head home because he's got a few things to do. Um, but... Um, so are we. <laughs> Hans has been, honestly, look at that, it's half done and it's nowhere near as difficult as we thought it's going to be. It's okay for me to say because I've got the easy part, I'm just feeding it under the bottom. Hans is doing it from the roof but um, as you can see we was going to put two layers of bubble wrap on. You've got the one layer on there but the, the poles are so tight because we've got the two covers on and to be honest the heating here is unbelievable guys even though it's a sort of semi overcast semi sunny day. So this is going to be a amazing for keeping the heating when we get the heater in so I really think because it's the big big bubble wrap we only really need the one sheet and we've got to say we've got two layers of the outer coating on so that should be sufficient and as you say 17 um, degrees now wow Celsius. 17 degrees yeah. um, Celsius inside the polytunnel bear in mind it's probably only about 60, 10 12 68. outside 68 brilliant 68 degrees Fahrenheit and that's without any heating on in here so that's a good sign and um, as I say, we're halfway there now. So far, so good. As you see, we've had to take everything out and then we're going to be rearranging all the plants again over the next few days. But the, our target today is to get the bubble wrap done. And uh, so far, so good. And um, a big thumbs up for Hansi. And as I say, as I mentioned earlier, please do go over and subscribe to his channel, Family of Cactusy and Other Beauties. And he shares lots of tips on gardening on there. Loads more to come as well. And uh, he's got some beautiful cacti videos. And um, Hansi's a fully, fully trained uh, horticulturist as well. He's studied, um, got a big degree in um, gardening. So he's very knowledgeable. I'm learning loads from him. But this is the first time he's bubbled wrapped a greenhouse or a polytunnel and I have to say he's done an amazing job <laughs> so guys um <laughs> so far so good and uh, we'll show you the uh, the finished results now guys that's all of the main part of the polytunnel done as you can see all the walls fully insulated with big bubble wrap we've just got the back wall to do and obviously the, the main part by the door. And what we're gonna be doing, or Hans I should say, because <laughs> he's a tall one, is feeding through the bubble wrap down from the bottom all the way up through the roof again to double insulate the roof because that's where heat loss obviously goes. And um, right down back by the door. Now that's the big roller sheet. We're obviously putting it, what we're gonna be doing then, obviously now is putting this, feeding this through onto the roof, which is the main part, as I said, that's where most of the heat loss goes to on the roof. Hans is doing an amazing job there. He's pulling all this across right over. Um, as I say, it's with the double lining and the double bubble wrap. 
any heat will come up, stay up, and it will take a lot longer for it to go through the roof. So this is great job. Uh, thank God Hans is over six foot high. That's all I can say. <laughs> that's bloody great. Look at that, guys. And uh, as I say, should you have a polytunnel you want to bubble wrap yourself, um, always best. It saves heating as well because you want it. The trick is to keep as much heat into the polytunnel as possible. Um, to save on uh, fuel costs. We're going to be having a thermostatically controlled electric heater, hopefully, and um, we're obviously going to, um, with the thermostat, once it kicks to the, the minimum temperature, which we think we're going to keep possibly about four to five. Ideally, cacti like to be overwintered about six to seven, but as I say, we're going to judge and see how it goes with the cost, but um, as I said, keeping the, the heating is the trick here. Now guys, that's it all done. That's the whole polytunnel completely bubble wrapped from head to foot. As you can see, Hans is just finishing off the very last bit down the bottom there. And um, it's been a busy day, I have to say, and um, amazing to get it all done. Lots of hard work. Hans is uh, worked so hard, I have to say. And as you, as you can see, the plants are sort of all over the place here. We're gonna be rearranging them over the coming days. And um, that's obviously with double bubble wrap the, the door as well so it's a bit like a blind we just pull it pull it away um like a curtain when we go in and out so that's great so um guys <laughs> me and hans want to wish you loads of love heaps of happiness and tons and tons of plant power and guys send us plant power back because we're gonna need it we are exhausted <laughs> so guys thanks so much for your support and your amazing comments guys and um, until the next video bye 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 bye, -bye. <laughs>